Hey guys, Dr. Anderson here, and I want to talk to you and give you a little story about what I call consensus medicine and your restless legs. Uh, the story goes back about maybe seven or eight years, uh, and I was giving a talk at a, at a meeting on a paper that I published, actually there's two of them, on surgically reversing diabetic neuropathy. Now, this isn't restless legs, I'm talking about diabetic neuropathy. We did these papers that we could show in the operating room by using intraoperative EMG testing that nerve function improved. And basically all it is is you're stimulating the nerve before nerve tunnels opened or decompressed. And then we check it again right immediately afterwards and we're seeing big percentage improvements of the function of the conduction of the nerve. So that's very good objective evidence. And I, at the end of the talk that I was given, a Dr. Erickson came up to me and Dr. Erickson's a very, uh, well-trained uh, hand surgeon, uh, John, or basically he was trained at uh, Harvard, and he said to me, you know what, Jim? He said, you have more evidence that what you do for diabetic neuropathy works, objective evidence that actually works than we do have, than we have for carpal tunnel syndrome. Similar symptoms, you know, burning, tingling, numbness, maybe weakness, but they don't even have that as hand surgeons. So that's a really important distinction I want to make sure you understand. So he's saying, and I'm telling you this too, that you hear about uh, uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, doctors hear about it, everybody accepts it. It's like, of course there's carpal tunnel surgery, of course, in many cases it'll work. But you hear about diabetic neuropathy and it's like, oh no, there's no, there's no way to reverse it. And it's absolutely not true. It's absolutely not true. There's objective evidence to prove that you can reverse it. Then we came out with a second study several years ago, another study I should say on restless legs, and that again documented subjectively that people are getting better that we do surgery on for restless legs by opening up nerve tunnels. So that's what I want you to understand is a lot of what this is is called consensus medicine. It's a consensus. It's There's not even studies to back this up. And I think you can start to understand this with the world of big pharma, maybe vaccines, etc. how there's a lot of stuff going on out there that is just sort of maybe consensus and it's not really based upon hard data. So question the things you're hearing. And I guess what I'm trying to say is what's stopping you a year from now from being restless legs free, from getting off the drugs? What obstacles are you going through to envision that you can be one of those people? Because we do it pretty much every week. So I want to challenge you with that. Watch the obstacles that are out there. And a lot of it right now for many of you is consensus medicine. Really dig deep and question a lot of what you're hearing because I believe that for most of you, we are able to reverse your restless legs. So appreciate you watching and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.